Hi, my name is Mark Jacobs, and uh, today I'm gonna show you what I do when I get out of bed to get ready for my busy day and take care of my skin and uh, look my freshest. My first step I've been doing for a long time, I use a, a product from Joel Sioko. I guess it's like kind of a toner. It's called Lotion Aromatique. It's very simple. I just really coat a cotton pad with the product, like I soak it, and then just go over my forehead and around my eyes. I think you're supposed to go up, but then my beard usually acts as Velcro. And that's what I do to kind of clean my face in the morning, but um, definitely depending on the weather and what my life is like, I change or add as I need. The most important step is this new product from Marc Jacobs, it's called Youthquake. And um, there's no, method behind this. I just put a couple of little drops on my fingertips, kind of rub it into my palms, and then I just kind of, that's it. Designers going into cosmetics is, or makeup is, is sometimes not the easiest thing and, and sometimes doesn't feel very credible, but we've managed, I think, to create a makeup line that people do respond to and they do love and I feel good about. It takes inspiration from what I do in terms of ready to wear, etc. A kind of almost mindset where you suggest these things and even knowing nothing about skincare, I'm like, yes, pineapple fresh, coconut fresh. There's an association that feels very like believable, incredible without going into like, words I can't pronounce. The next step is a little bit of blurring coconut primer. Put a little bit on my finger, rub it into two fingers, and then just like sort of get the area of my face that's usually shiny, like around the nose and my forehead, and that's it. And I don't probably use that on a very, like on a daily basis. If I do know I'm going somewhere where there will be a camera or where I will be photographed, then I'm more likely to use it. I would go through these extra steps of just doing things that give me the look that I like. I love to sit for hours and get makeup done. I mean, I love to do drag and I love to do, like not drag, but makeup and costume. And I mean, dressing up and self-expression is such a big deal to me. I mean, I'm a designer and one of the things I love about clothes is that transformative quality that they have and you can kind of be this person you want to be in the choices, the creative choices you make. And of course, makeup to me is like the final accessory in any kind of fashion look. A little bit of under eye concealer, which is called the Accomplice Touch Up Stick. I just, just dab this on my finger and I just like kind of gently touch it under my eyes. And I just kind of just blend it in. I usually don't wear it don't wear it on a daily basis, but from time to time, like I said, when I'm taking the time to look my best. One thing I do every morning, however, is my um, brows. I feel like the formula for our product is really amazing. I've tried different ones. I've tried boy brow. I've tried different things over the years. So I just kind of put it on once and then I let it dry and then I kind of go on over it again. So I build it up and I usually try to build it up a little bit more on the outer edges because that's where I've lost the most hair. And then this is something I keep in my pocket. I usually have about two of them in my bag, uh, one of them in my pocket. And it is perfect for me in terms of um, what I like on my lips. I usually do, what is it like the queer eye for the straight face that they call? Spray delay, walk away. And so you walk through the fragrance because you're not supposed to spray fragrance directly on your clothes. I do I do usually put it on my neck before I get dressed or if I'm in a bathroom and on my wrists. This is kind of a subtle fragrance. It's called Angelique Sur le Pluie by Frédéric Mal, And it is my absolute favorite. I have it in travel size. I have this beautiful red tube. I met Frédéric Mal at an event once and I told him how much I loved it and he made me a concentrate, like a very strong version of it, which I use sometimes if I'm going out, but this is what I use every day and love. All that's left is hair. So this is really my absolute favorite go-to. If I'm doing my hair myself, it's Orbe's Rock Hard Gel. Usually I put a little bit on my palm like that. And um, normally if my hair is already in a good shape, which it is today, I just kind of rub this into my palms and um, after adding a little bit of water, I just kind of 
touch it too much, you know, keep, and it is glue. I mean, it will keep your hair, every hair in place. The other product I use if for, for a bit of shine, it's this gloss in this nice little green cylinder and just spray it on. The thing is it's an oil base, so it does soften the rock hard. So I make sure I do have enough rock hard on before I spray this, but this gives just a nice shine. There's a way I like to see things or I have a preference to how I like to see things. But I do love diversity, and I also think the most important thing in your choices of makeup and your choices of clothes or accessories is that you're happy with it. Like, I get dressed and I make my choices in the morning because they'll make me happy. Now, if somebody else benefits from them or somebody else appreciates them, that's great. But I don't get dressed or, or choose what I'm gonna wear based on what I hope someone else will think of it. I'll just end with something I don't normally do, but I'm a big fan of, and that is lipstick, a color. Um, this one is O'Malley, and I'm just gonna sign off with a very sloppy lip. Mwah! <laughs>